Call Aston Carol service this evening. I uh, hope you'll enjoy our service. We're trying something new tonight. We're going to have all the carols up here, so you'll not need a carol sheet. And you have a, a program, so you know which carols we're singing anyway and when to come in. You'll notice that some of the carols say Call Aston Carols. You're very welcome to join in those carols, but the choir, you can have a sit down during those and the choir will lead, lead those, but you sing as well. And so the service will proceed unannounced. out we have a new banner that Sheila Emery spent a lot of time making. She can't be here tonight but I thought you'd like to know that that's where the, the banner has come from and so as we know Sheila is unwell and uh, you know she made that specially for tonight's service. Right on. Shall we all join together in prayer? Shall we pray? Our God and Father we thank you that on this Sunday evening we're able to meet in this your house and today on this special day when we remember the coming of Jesus so long ago we ask that you'll help us to understand something of that meaning for ourselves we confess that we do not always understand everything that happens either to us or to the world but one thing we know 
is that you came from heaven's glory in order to be our saviour, in order to be with us, and you have shared all the things that we can, un can have to happen to us. And so, our Father, we ask that as we sing these carols and as we together hear the word of God, that you help us to understand more of the mystery of your coming. And may that mystery help us in our lives in the coming weeks ahead. So, our Father, bless our service, we pray. Use it to your glory, we ask. For we ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen.
Isaiah 11, verses 1 to 5. The royal line of King David is like a tree that has been cut down, but just as new branches sprout from, sprout from a stalk, so a new king will arise from among David's descendants. The Spirit of the Lord will give him wisdom and the knowledge and the skill to rule his people. He will know the Lord's will and honour him, and find pleasure in obeying him. He will not judge by appearance or hearsay. He will judge the poor fairly and defend the rights of the helpless. At his command, the people will be punished, and evil persons will die. He will rule his people with justice and integrity.
Luke 2, verses 1 to 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken in, of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took part while Quirinius was the governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to, uh, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room in the inn.
that he sent them to Bethlehem with these instructions. Go and make a careful search for the child. And when you find him, let me know, so that I too may go and worship him. And so they left. And on their way they saw the same star that they had seen in the east. When they saw it, how happy they were. What joy was theirs. It went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They went into the house, and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They brought out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and presented them to him. Then they returned to their country by another road, since God had warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod. Lived amongst us. 
We saw his glory, the glory which he received as the Father's only Son. Thank you very much. Our offering today are for the joint charities that we support last Sunday night, this Sunday, and Christmas Day. Namely, sorry, we'll find that later. <laughs> namely, Christian Aid, what was the, the Methodist Missionary Society in our missions abroad, what was the National Children's Home, and, and is now the, uh, the organisation with the new name, and I can't remember it, but it's still the important organisation helping children in this country. And so this is what our gifts are for. Shall we ask God to bless our gifts? Our God and Father, we thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you that we share so much of your love and of the bounty of your universe. And we pray, our Father, that as we have given our gifts, so they may be used to help children in need, adults in need, and to help others to know more of your love in places which we have not heard so clearly as we have. So bless these gifts, we pray. And use them to your glory, we ask. For we ask them, ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. thank you that you came from heaven's glory to be our saviour. The one who created us came to save us. And our Father, we pray that we may bring his message of love and peace and joy and compassion to all the world. This is the message of Christmas, that love came down at Christmas. 
and a message for us that we are to send love out to a world in need. So bless us, we pray, as we go our several ways, and may Christmas be a true time of love and peace in our homes and families and in our hearts, for we ask it in the name of Jesus. And now may the peace and blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with each one of us, now and always. Amen. 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 <coughs>